Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about software that already works. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do you need developers to work on software that already works? Like an example, Netflix hires hundreds of developers and so does Facebook and Google and other companies, but their sites already work perfectly. Why do they need these developers? Well, they need these developers to build new features and to fix the problems that you don't see. So this is something that is extremely hard for a muggle to understand. Because a muggle doesn't understand that they're not the only user of the system and they don't understand that the issues that they fa that every single software developer faces on a daily basis may be things that they never use. As an example, have you ever stopped and considered just how many features Facebook has? I, I don't think you have. I don't think you realize how big that system is. We're talking about a system that is maintained by hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. Do you think that they're all sitting at like just one computer? No. They have so, so, so many features and you as an average user will maybe use, I mean even if you're extreme, a handful of the total at best. And you have millions, hundreds of millions, if not billions of people every single day who have different needs from yours and they're using in many ways all the features and whenever a software company has that amount of traffic well then everything you want to do is a big risk because whenever like, the reason why a company such as Netflix hires hundreds of developers is because they are not done. Their business is continuously growing. They're developing new features. They're building new stuff. You may not know about, I mean, they're not going to tell you that, oh, well, we've upgraded our implementation of our infrastructure or, oh, we are improving our, um, or a recommendation algorithm and things like that. These are things that may be completely seamless to you. The only time you ever hear anything from the IT companies is when they actually publicly say, we have this new user, user uh, feature that we want you to know about, something that we are going to tell you about because we want to, ma we want to make a big fuss about it. Uh, it's this, this statement is similar to, I mean, this was a few, many years back when my little sister, we were kind of, we were like just, kids at the time she said and I thought that was very cute she said that why is it that people try to why do people commit murder because we were watching a, a, a news uh, segment about someone who had been caught for murder and she said why is it they all they do it because they always get caught and I go well no that's one person there are thousands of people getting murdered every single day and they don't get like uh, far from all of them are getting caught you it's just that you hear about a few and now you think that that's the whole uh, you think that that's everything it's the same thing here you hear about maybe a handful of features that's a few like a few core features and every single day these enormous companies ship code literally every day like my co I can know this because my company does the same thing like we ship things all the time it's continuously work it continues work and we need we never have enough developers because we want to do more we want to grow the system bigger and bigger and bigger and better all the time so that either we can refine something that is sort of working but we want it to work even better because although it's super great that you think that the system is perfect unfortunately we can't just build the entire system just for you we need to build it for everybody and not everybody's happy with it so we need to fix it uh, and in some cases we realize that if we want to expand our business and make more money we need to add other features and we might have users or like stakeholders that are in say co in different corporations and they have very harsh and very specific needs trust me when i say this if you go and look at facebook's ad system and like how they do that sort of thing that there that thing there 
has a lot of features and a lot of very hard requirements to deal with and that's why they need all of these developers continuously just growing because the system becomes more sophisticated with more features and higher higher requirements on quality and that is a continuous process so what I want you to take away from this is that software is well, unless you're building something that you really just, I mean, if you build a very small little blog or something where you just ship it, it should just show some information and you never need to update it because you're not adding new features or anything like that, then yes, there's no point in hiring more developers because the thing is static. It's just something that passively works. But for companies such as Netflix and uh, practically every single IT company, you need all of these developers because you have so many features and issues within the system that you need to take care of. And you as the user, you might be using a fraction of the total amounts of amount of features the platform has. And although it's great that you, from your perspective, I mean, you could spend your entire life loving a product because you never go to the website on the wrong day on the wrong feature, so it breaks. But at the same time you might have friends who think that this is a bullshit system because they always get in on the wrong day on the wrong feature that's a perspective that you should keep with you and that's why you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of developers maintaining these really large system in these systems one part because they need to make sure that the things that are already there are still working when we change things and the other part is to actually develop new features and some of them you're gonna hear about and some of them you're not gonna hear about have a great day.